I'm going to share with you some really good stuff that I purchased recently. Most of them are actually really affordable and super super awesome. And everything will be linked down below in the description box for you. Leave me a comment down below to let me know which one is your favorite. Let's get right into the video. The first item is a pair of sunglasses that I bought lately. It has tons of good online reviews and also I really like the shape and the, the look of the sunglasses. Don't you think it looks like a gentle monster? If I didn't tell you, you probably won't be able to guess that this pair of sunglasses are only $11 and I'll link it down below for you. It fits me really well and I love how it looks on me. Also because of the affordable price point, I don't feel bad at all if I lose it or break it. I have been really enjoying this pair of sunglasses. Most importantly is this style looks so good. I'm just really happy with this purchase. The next item, I actually bought this Bowman logo baseball cap and it's in the velvet material. It's really luxurious and I love this so much. However, after I tried it on, the front of the cap is super rigid and it hurts my head every time when I try to wear it. So I had to return that baseball cap unfortunately. Then I was looking around and I found this satin baseball cap. It's just a plain baseball cap. This is how the back looks like. It's adjustable. This satin material is also available in other colors as well. The other nice thing about getting a plain baseball cap is that you know how if you have any other designer brooches and you can put the brooch on top of the baseball cap so it looks like a designer cap. For example, like I put my Chanel brooch here and it totally looks like a Chanel baseball cap which I don't need to spend over a thousand dollars on the Chanel baseball cap. This one fits me so well and it's way more comfortable than the Bowman one. It's actually less than thirty dollars. You know how much I love a good baseball cap? Basically they elevate your style instantly and they go with so many different looks and on the days that you don't want to wash your hair they can cover it up as well. I have been wearing this baseball cap a lot and I really really enjoy it. The next item, I don't know if you remember, I bought a pair of distressed jeans from Good American not too long ago and they are so flattering. I totally got into this brand ever since then so I got another pair of distressed jeans from the same brand. It has the perfect shade of the blue jeans that I was looking for and the perfect amount of distressed knees. Also the perfect amount of distressed hem as well. My legs are definitely not skinny since I'm a pear body shape so if if a pair of jeans looks really good on me, it has to be really flattering on you too. This pair of jeans definitely make my legs look slender and they fit me so well. And I'm wearing size zero here for your reference. And I just think this pair of jeans looks so good and I have been wearing it a lot lately. And they are on sale right now. The sizes are going really fast and I'll link this pair and the other pair that I have for you down below in the description box as well. The next one is a long lasting new liquid lipstick which is the color that I'm wearing right now. It's a PDA approved lipstick meaning everything goes off but the lipstick will stay. So you must shake it for 5 seconds in order to activate all the ingredients before you put it on to make sure that it's long lasting. This one's supposed to be no flaking, no breakups, transfer proof, smudge proof, food and waterproof too. This lipstick gives your lip an instant high shine and the pigmented color stays on for a very long time. I tested this one with eating different types of food and wearing in different occasions. I do feel that this one lasts longer than any of the other lipsticks that I had in the past and you don't have to worry about eating and reapplying so often. This one also using the vegan formula too. This liquid lipstick is available in many different colors and if you are looking for a lipstick that stays on longer and has high shine and pigmented color this will be a great option for you. I'll leave my nude lipstick color code down below in the description box for you. The next item, so I found my dark spot on my face has gotten worse over time and I did some research basically what I need is vitamin C to brighten up my skin tone and I 
I started this new skincare routine. In the morning, I will use vitamin C, and at nighttime, I will use retinol to anti aging. The morning is mainly for brighten up the skin tone and the fade the spot and also promote the collagen. So vitamin C has a lot of skin benefits. I found this new moisturizer that has 5% vitamin C and a bunch of other ingredients to help you to brighten up your skin. Also firms and strengthen your skin too. With this, you don't have to apply or layer so many other products or buy a separate vitamin C serum, which made the morning skincare routine super efficient for me. The other thing that I really like about this is that you know how vitamin C is easily get oxidized and this one is the pump style. So you squeeze it out instead of open the entire bottle. So the vitamin C in there stays effective. It doesn't get oxidized easily. So this is a vitamin vitamin C super boost moisturizer that I'm super happy about lately. One thing really important is that if you are using vitamin C in the morning, you must sunblock because your skin is more sensitive to the sun. But even generally speaking, if you are not sunblock properly on a daily basis, then whatever expensive skincare product that you're using, even you're using La Miel, La Perry, they will all be a waste of money if you don't sunblock. What I learned over the years is that sunblock is a key to anti-aging. I tried a couple of different sunblock this summer and I think I found my favorite one, which is the Japanese brand Anessa. It's so good. It's literally the best sunblock that I've ever had. This one has really good ingredients and the, the texture is like a milk. It's super easy to absorb on the skin. Not oily or greasy at all. It's waterproof and SPF 50 plus too. It's just really comfortable when I'm wearing it. It also layers really well with my foundation as I'm wearing this underneath my foundation right now. The ingredients are really really good too and that's why I love this one so much. Nowadays even it's cloudy days or indoor I'm still wearing my sunscreen. That's just how important sunscreen it is when it comes to anti-aging. If you are looking for a sunblock that is super easy to wear and comfortable and really effective, this is the perfect one for you and I highly recommend and I think I'll definitely repurchase this product again in the future. The next purchase is my Canada Goose Chelsea Parka and don't think it's too early to buy a Canada Goose jacket right now because it's already second half of the year. I have another Canada Goose jacket in red, but I just realized that I don't really wear it enough because of the red color. That's why I got this classic Chelsea Paka in the black color this time. The other reason is also because it's in the black color, I don't have to wash it as often as light colored jacket. After I got this jacket and I wore this jacket a few times, I just realized I love this jacket so much and this is definitely my favorite Canada Goose jacket right now. The jacket is really warm and this one is good for temperature between minus 4 Fahrenheit and 14 Fahrenheit, which is totally more than enough. And the hood has a metal piece here, which allow you to adjust the, the shape of the hood and it's also removable too. As you can see, there's a zipper here and there are two pockets on the side. There are fleece lined inside of like the hand warmer. Inside it has zipper pocket as well. The fabric is water resistant too. It also has the shoulder strap where you can shoulder carry it so you can be hands free. I really like that it's a hip length, not too long so it's more versatile for you to style. The other thing is that it has the adjustable waistline where you can adjust it to make it more fitted which is really flattering look for cold days. So the Chelsea Paka also comes in another version the difference is that that one has a fur on the hood, but that one is $400 more expensive than this one. I personally don't think it's worth it to pay for $400 for just that hood and I think this plain version works totally perfectly and I think it's a better deal to be honest. So I picked up this version and I'm really really happy with this purchase and I think I will be able to get a lot of wear out of it. It's just so practical and I can't wait for the cold days and the holiday season already. So what do you think of my recent purchases? Which one is your favorite? Leave me a comment down below to let me know and I'll see you soon. Bye bye! Bye!